Welcome to Comic Geddon TV, where all things geek culture collide. I'm your guest host, Greg, and not only do I collect comic books, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, and a bunch of other stuff, but I collect Hot Wheel cars. 57 Chevy Hot Wheel cars are one of my favorites. So right here, these are the treasure hunts. Yeah, I got some variations on them. I can take them out of here. We can line them up and take a look. But right here, I've had two empty spots. I've been waiting. And they arrived. The 2020 Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt is here, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Here you go. All of the Hot Wheel 57 Chevy Treasure Hunts throughout the years and all their variations. I will show you each one up close and personal here in a little while so you know what you can look for and you can add them to your collection when you find them. But right now, brr, the new edition. That was my geek out moment, okay? Um, it's going to be a lot of those, so get used to it. <laughs> The 2020 Super Treasure Hunt 57 Chevy. Oh man, this is nice. This is real nice. It's loose, no chips. Okay, the guy found this on an international card that was crinkled bad on the bubble too. So he opened it and then he got two more. And then I talked him out of this one. Ah! <laughs> so, okay, the thing is, you might have seen some of these online. Um, you know, early on, they hit and they say like they're from Malaysia and they're selling them. And I think, now I could be wrong. I don't want to say that they're stealing them, but somebody might be stealing these from the factory early on. And I'm like, I don't want to support that. And I usually, I don't buy my cars like on for crazy prices. But I, um, I don't think this is the year that I can find one because of all the, you know, stuff going on in the world. I don't think I'll be in stores. It's going to be a rough year for everybody. So... I don't know how that's all going to play out, and I have to have my 57. So I got it for $25 plus shipping, and I went for it. It's loose, and if I get lucky, which you never know, I might get lucky, I might get one carded, and then I'll have both. I won't open the other one. Now, see, it's got the, um, like, antique to look on top. It looks kind of like rust spots, and sometimes I don't like that look on a car, um, because sometimes it really does make them look damaged or junky. <laughs> but this one, it looks pretty good because of the color. Because the rust isn't like really bad looking compared with the, the pink on here. So yeah, I love this car. It's a nice one. Great addition to the family. Get down here by your family. Don't bump each other. No demolition derbies around here, okay? But look what else I have. Boom. Now this is an American card. It hit. It's in Texas. Okay, the guy found five of these and he's my friend. So I got a deal here. Yeah. Look, okay, so the international and the other packages, you'll see, it'll have this color car on the card and in the pack, of course. And this is going to be supposedly more common. He got four of these, and I got one of them from him. And we've traded a lot over the years. Everything's cool. I don't want to open it yet, just in case. I want to wait till I get some before I open it, because... Um, Although it's a tough decision because my display case has got two spots waiting for these babies. So let's compare them. Okay, first things first, the color, right? I don't want to drop it. You got this nice metallic. And here, you got a lighter, just a pink. Get the real riders, but they're different. These wheels are different. Both got the same base. Both have the same interior. But the paint scheme on top, look. There's none of the rustique look, and there's not that um, hood tempo. So there you go. Yeah. That's another reason I don't want to open it yet, because, you know, just think of something that's different, right? Not the one I find. <laughs> I'm a completist. Nice, huh? All right. Let's take a look at the other ones, too. Okay, the first Hot Wheel Treasure Hunt 57 Chevy that they made was 1996, and boy, did they come out with a bang. Look at that. Metallic purple, cool purple interior, chrome hub Goodyear Real Riders, chrome base, just a sweet looking car. Got the Hot Wheel logo on the back. Yep, and it's got the motor. There you go. It still rolls. Oh, the Real Riders. Hey, hey, easy, easy. Be cool. Just a sweet car. This car came out in the prime of my Hot Wheel collecting. I'd say 95 through 98 was insane, and I was everywhere trying to get as many as I could of everything. I was just a maniac. And I managed to find quite a few of these and make some major trades. I still have three of these in a the package. 
And there you go. Well, it's always going to be probably my favorite because, you know, it's kind of what kicked off my treasure hunting 57 Chevy craze. And I found them in the stores. Then 1998 came around, and here you go. It's got the motor. It's a nice looking color, okay? The green, the metallic green with the yellow interior. Got the checkerboard with some gold on here and the gold base. It's a nice car. Except these three spoke wheels. You'd think on a treasure hunt you would get, you know, real riders or something a little more classy. Although they look good, would have liked to have had something better. And I think most people did that year. 98 was not a great year for treasure hunts to begin with. I think they all kind of um, suffered because of the lack of the cool wheels. And so you could pick these up relatively cheap, and they are still a beautiful car. If they didn't tell you it was a treasure hunt, you wouldn't be going, oh, it should have real riders, right? It's a, it's a nice looking car. There you go. Now, I believe this was 2005. Yeah, 2005. So this is the year they started getting, you know, your two wheel variations. So these are real riders, but these are all blacked out. And the whole car is blacked out. It's like a flat black. And there's no roof, you know, trunk tempo. Again, this has got the engine and chrome base. But he came in chrome hub, real riders, and the black wheel version. So you're going to have a little bit of a harder time getting this one. And it's, it's cool. It can be done. They're out there. But yeah, that's how it came. Now I have three of them because there is another third variation. Take a look at their grill. All chrome. Well, these are... Got the black in there. Now, it's the same, same material. Hot Wheels puts out a lot of... Um, 57 Chevys, they've put out a lot of them with the black grills in some of their... their set cars and stuff. I'm not, I don't want to name the names. I have to go look at my case on the wall and show you which ones they were, like FAO Schwartz style and stuff. But some of those had the metal base with the black in the grill. But there are a few out there, and people don't know about it. You can find this in a pack with the black grill, and they might not know, and they'll charge you the regular price for one of those. And if you see it, you better grab it, because then you'll have the complete three-piece set. Everybody wants a three-piece, right? <laughs> <laughs> then 2011 came along, and this is the year, it's kind of like what they have going on right now. You get your treasure hunt version, which is more common, and it has white five-spoke Goodyears, and its color is a little bit different than the super treasure hunt that has real riders. Yeah, the white hub real riders. And these don't have the engine. Yep. There are three different style of Hot Wheel 57 Chevy castings. And I could go into some detail and show you that too, exactly what's going on. Um, but right here, that's your set. A little bit different color between them. This one's more common. You can pick this up really cheap, okay? These are just a few dollars. These cost you a little bit more, but they're not that bad. You should get one if you can, because it's a cool car. I like it. So that's kind of like what we got going on right now with this one and this one. We got the regular version and the super treasure hunt. Now, I'm not going to open this until I get another one. This one's already open, so it's going right in my case. Let's go put them all back and look at what we got going on. Here they are, all back safe and sound. Take care of your cars. Do not scratch them up. Race them down tracks unless you buy a double or triple. <laughs> we all do that too. Don't be scared to do that. You see, I have them in different orders because I like how this looks all chrome hubs right here. I'm saving the spot for the regular treasure hunt for the year right here when I open one because I want the super to be right here because it's a nicer metallic pink and it looks good next to that one. You know what else will look good next to it? This other pink one right here. Yep. There's my little humble flex for you. If you want to see more Hot Wheel videos, I can do that for you. But remember, I'm just a guest on this channel. You have to leave a comment down below 
and let them know, yeah, we want more of this type of stuff, and then I can come back and do it. Until then, you have to subscribe to Comic Gadden TV where all things geek culture collide. I will do this again in the future. If you let me, let me know down below. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.